Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally got some Call of Duty 2020 footage. I have been waiting a very long time for this. As you guys know, the commentaries and just the whole Call of Duty scene over here has just been very stale lately. It's been hard to come up with certain topics and hard to get you know, anybody really engaged because I think the majority of the people who do watch my content hate Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is kind of counterproductive for my channel because, as you guys know, I usually just continuously play Call of Duty and I still try to post Modern Warfare content, but a lot of you guys don't enjoy it. So I've been really waiting for some Call of Duty 2020 news to drop just so I can kind of change up the pace on the channel and give something different. And I was actually just about to complain the other day about how there hasn't been any news about Call of Duty 2020. And if you don't follow me already over on Twitter, make sure you go ahead and hit me up. It's at Man. I go ahead and leave you guys all my notifications on there and talk with you guys, chat with you guys, discuss stuff with you guys. It's very fun over on Twitter. But I was actually going to post a tweet saying how you know, this game, wh where's all the news? Where's all the content? What's going on? And then right before I was about to do that, leaked footage gets dropped of Call of Duty 2020. Now, keep in mind, this isn't official footage. This isn't footage that Activision has dropped themselves. This is leaked stuff. We don't know if this is true. We don't know if this is false. This could be a fan-made video game or something like that. We don't know. But from the looks of it, it is looking very promising. And today, I guess I just kind of want to discuss what this footage looked like, what's the ins and outs of all this stuff. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm actually pretty pleased with what I see. Now, I'm not going to leave any links or anything like that. I do not want to get in trouble. I do not, I repeat, I do not want to get in trouble over some Call of Duty 2020 stuff. I know Activision is very, very, very rough when it comes to copyright strikes and, you know, leaked footages and stuff like that. So nothing is going to come from this channel. If you want to find it, just simply go into the search tab of either YouTube or Google or something like that. And just look up Call of Duty 2020 leaked footage, or maybe Call of Duty 2020 leaked alpha footage, because it is alpha gameplay. And let me remind you, it doesn't look that clean, so don't look at this gameplay and say, oh my god, this game looks like crap. Keep them, This isn't even beta phase. This is insanely early on multiplayer footage. They obviously got all the fundamentals down, but graphics-wise and stuff like that, it's barely any textures and stuff. It just looks really rough, but don't let that, you know, give you any false hope for this video game. Now, throughout what I saw from this, you know, like minute and a half footage of Call of Duty 2020 multiplayer gameplay, once again, keep in mind this wasn't an official match. This was just, you know, one guy running around a private match, just exploring the map, showing you the ins and outs, some of the reload animations, the guns, and stuff like that. It wasn't really too much going on. So it wasn't an actual multiplayer match. But you still did get to see a lot of the stuff. Now, the movement to me personally looks like it's a mix of Modern Warfare and Black Ops 4. I don't know if it looks like Modern Warfare just because it's on the same engine as Modern Warfare. But it just seems like the movement system of running looks like Modern Warfare. And also the bunny hopping kind of looks like it's going to make a return from Black Ops 4. Unless they're going to polish that off as well. And, you know, kind of tune that down a bit. But so far, the bunny hopping looks like it's going to make a return. So that's why I'm saying it's kind of like a hybrid of Modern Warfare and Black Ops 4. Which I'm not angry about. Like I said said black ops 4 the movement and stuff like that it was decent and modern warfare you guys know how i feel about the movement in this game i absolutely love it i think it's awesome so to me personally seeing this it looked really good i really enjoyed the flow that they were trying to you know represent with the movement system in this video game. Reload animations and shooting your guns and stuff like that. It's not really too much I can talk about with that stuff. It was very, no, they didn't show that much of anything like that. I guess the next best thing I could really even tell you guys is just the map design. I don't know if all the maps are going to be like this, or maybe it's just, th just this one. But regardless, it looked good. It looked clean. And it looked like a pretty decent three-lane styled Treyarch designed map. You know, very typical from a Treyarch game. But thankfully for me, it wasn't so basic. My main problem when it comes to Treyarch video games is that their map designs just become so repetitive. Like Black Ops 4. Every map was reskinned. I swear to God, everything was just a three-lane styled map, the exact same style, just with a different format. Every single time. But this one, it looks like I have different paths. You can go underground, you can go around, it's left flank, right flank, you have the middle section. It's multiple areas that you can explore when it comes to this map. And I like that. I do like a little variety. I just hope that they do venture off with a little bit more larger scaled maps. They just have to do it right. You can't do large scaled maps like in Modern Warfare where you have a million corners that you can camp in and hide in. You need to make sure that it's fluent and it moves correctly. But so far, the, the maps look pretty good. I'm enjoying what I saw out of this gameplay. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm actually very hype for what I saw. Now, a lot of people were saying that this is probably fake game, you know, fake gameplay or something like that. And, you know, I kind of thought that as well. You know, I was in the same boat and I thought to myself that, you know, if Activision removes it, 
honestly, they're in checkmate right now. If they removed the gameplay, then it's obviously pretty much confirmed. And if they don't remove the gameplay, people are still going to think that that's the gameplay. So they're kind of in checkmate. We know this gameplay, this footage is kind of what Call of Duty 2020 is going to be like. And then actually, the same day, the day of, keep in mind, I record my video, uh, videos a day before, so all the stuff that I'm talking about today happened yesterday. So um, in the same course of the day, Activision started striking down channels, striking down the video, and they were actually striking it down with saying that it was actually Call of Duty 2020 footage. So Activision themselves have basically confirmed that this footage is true. It's Call of Duty 2020. Whether they did it openly or purposely, or by accident, it doesn't matter. They're copyright claiming footage, claiming that it's Call of Duty 2020, so it gets taken down. This is insane. This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for a moment that Call of Duty 2020 would finally get out there and we can finally get our eyes on what this game is going to be kind of like. But that doesn't mean that I'm still not skeptical about this whole footage. You know, it got released to us, yes, and Activision is copyright claiming it, saying it's Call of Duty 2020, yes. But still, when you look at the gameplay, you still see things that just don't fit the time period. This game is supposed to be in the Cold War Vietnam era. That weapon doesn't look like it's from the Cold War. Maybe the attachments, but the gun doesn't. Maybe it's something different, unique. Maybe it was a classified gun that just wasn't really manufactured back when the war was actually going on. I, I don't know what the whole deal is. But that weapon doesn't really look like it fits the time period. Along with the tanks that are in the factory. The tanks look like they're from Black Ops 4, which is... A little strange because Black Ops 4 is a futuristic game that's not in the Cold War. So it's a few things that are throwing me off here. But keep in mind, like I said, this is very early footage. This is alpha gameplay. They could just possibly be filling in things from past games just to make the map, you know, semi-decent. And then when the game finally gets to its final form or maybe even in beta form, they'll start implementing the actual, you know, props and stuff that they have that fit the time period. And then it'll actually make sense. But currently, like I said, even though it's alpha gameplay, it's still stuff that just doesn't fit the time period that throws me off a little bit. Which would make sense that it's a fan-made creation because they're just using assets from old-school Call of Duty games, Black Ops 1, 2, 3, 4, and just, you know, plopping it into this little whatever they're doing. And then they made a little gameplay for it. I can totally see this being the case because we've seen some fan-made creations being made in the past, which look phenomenal. Even look at one of the uh, creations that they're making for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. There's a group of people, I think like 10 or 11 people, who are going into the Black Ops 3 engine. And they're designing a Modern Warfare 2 version of the game for the community to play. And it looks great. It looks smooth. It looks like it runs good. The map looks outstanding. They did a great job with that. People are absolutely insane. They're so creative. And they could do things that you could never imagine possible. Almost just as good as the regular devs who are making these AAA developed video games. So don't ever think that people aren't capable of making a leaked gameplay that looks this good that could be completely fake. It, it's possible. It's all possible. This could be a completely fake gameplay that someone made and we would have no clue. But because of the fact that Activision is removing it, they're copyright striking, which is a very huge claim on someone's YouTube channel. So if that's the case and they're doing that, this must be the real deal. And on top of all that, like I said, they're copyright claiming it. And they're also stating that the reason that they are copywriting it is because it's leaked Call of Duty 2020 footage, which means, you know, it's it's Call of Duty 2020 gameplay. That's what we're watching. That's why they're copyright striking it. I'm pretty sure this is the real deal because Activision would not be taking it this seriously if it wasn't. But guys, do me a massive favor and go down into the comments section and let me know what your personal opinions about this whole topic are. Do you think that this is fake gameplay? Do you think someone made this? It's a fan-made trailer or something like that? Or do you think this is the real deal? Do you think this is legitimate Call of Duty 2020 gameplay? Like I said, I, I don't think that Activision would be copyright striking if it wasn't the real deal. So I think this is probably some legitimate footage. But make sure you leave your own opinions down below because I always love seeing what everybody has to say about it. But guys, Call of Duty 2020, I think the trailer is probably going to be right around the corner. I'm expecting maybe next week or maybe this weekend. It, it can't be too much longer after this because, I mean, Activision, they just got spoiled. I mean, they're taking down trailers. And if anybody sees that Activision re is removing this stuff, they're just going to automatically assume that it's true. So... Activision is probably already trying to set up the trailers to be out to the public, so get ready for it. I'm, I'm really excited.
But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you hated it, by all means, go ahead and dislike it. If you're brand new and you did enjoy what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me or see what I'm talking about with anything video game related or anything in real life topics, you can follow me over on Twitter, at Man. And also, if you want to catch me live stream, which I have been doing a lot more recently, if you guys do enjoy watching live gameplay or any of my live gameplays that I do over here on YouTube, if you just want to see me play live for a couple of hours, by all means, follow me over on Twitch. I usually do it late at night, so like around 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern time is usually when I go live. But I've been doing it a lot more often. I'm trying to grow that Twitch fan base. And I just hope you guys can support me with that as well. But guys, thank you for tuning into this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.